Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First, I want to apologize for being MIA for the last week. Um, my husband had a week off after working um, like 22 days straight, 16 to 18 hours a day. And so I just took that time and spent it with him. And I also want to apologize for the ink that you see on my hands, but um, I had kind of sort of another accident with my fountain pen ink. So, yeah, I apologize. But I was just working on um, going through some of my scraps and making some master boards. And I figured I would just get on here and bring you guys along um, to make another one. So this is one that I done earlier. Um, I done it on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And I've got it stuck glued to the back of it here. Um, so this will be cut up and used for other projects. Um, but you can see I've got some pieces of fabric on it. Um, this is some of the Tim Holtz, that tissue paper. I've got a label, some butterflies. You know, I've just got a couple of focal points on it. But I think it is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to set that one to the side. And what I'm going to work on right now is this. And this was the back off of a 12 by 12 pad. So the back of it is that cardboard look. And so I'm going to use that. I've got just a little bit of my um, like scraps right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull out um, some pieces that I want to use like for the, um, the back part of my master board and these pieces can be larger because what we'll do is we'll go through and kind of um, cover the back part up and then we will come back through and add a few embellishments um, and that kind of stuff so I'm just pulling out um, some different pieces um, that's kind of a neutral color that I think might look pretty good on the background, you know, but we'll be covering a lot of it up. So um, I don't have to be too particular because it doesn't all have to match. So I'm just pulling like this. I can use some of that and let's get some of that. Here's a book page. Here's some more writing pieces right here. And we'll grab those. All right, so I'm just going to set that over to the side. And again, this is a great way to use up your scraps. Um, I am really trying to use up a lot of my stuff um, this coming, coming up year. Um, so what I've got right here, and I need to pour a little more, um, I still had a big thing of this collage podge. And so I'm just going to use this um, to put my stuff down. Um, now what I've done on the other one was I used a glue stick, but this is kind of a shiny material, so I don't know how good a glue stick would hold. I really don't even know for sure how good this will hold, but we're going to attempt it. So I'm just going to paint some of this on. And I'm just using um, a brush here that I don't even know where I got this brush from. It's like a silicone bristle brush or something. So I'm just gonna paint some of this on here. And then I am just going to set that right there. And then I can put another little piece right there where I've already got some more of that um, collage podge. 
and I'm just gonna take it down a little bit because I don't want things like in straight lines per se. So I'm just going to put that right there. And like I said, I'm going with kind of neutral-ish neutral colors um, because I want to be able to um, embellish this a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna paint some more collage podge on here. I'm putting some over the top of that, which is fine. And let's do, let's do a piece of this. You know, I'm gonna actually do this. See if I can do it. I'm gonna end up with it all over my hands, but it's okay. Nothing new. Y'all know I'm always making messes. I am really good at that. But that's part of it. And that's the fun part of it is just making a mess and having fun using up all your stuff. And I have to be honest and say that a lot of times, you know, the um, these collage master boards are great to make um, like journal cards and stuff like that with. But I have to tell you guys the truth with me. I love to just look at the master boards once they're done. I think they're so pretty that I just like to look at them. I care less if I actually use them or not. I just, I enjoy them. So if you want to use them, they are great to be used um, as tags or journal cards or faux postcards or anything like that. Or you can do like I normally do. And when I make one, I normally just stare at it. So that's, you know, all your prerogative. There's no rules. Just like with junk journaling, there are no rules in this, which I love because I'm not very good at following these kind of rules. Because I always make boo-boos and mess ups. And so since there are no rules, like I'm not breaking any. I can, if I make a boo-boo or mess up, it's not the end of the world. So I hope all of you guys are doing good. Um, let me get in screen here. I am actually filming this. It is New Year's Eve and it is 1036. And my poor husband is, he had to go to work today and he is still at work, and I have no idea what time he will be home. So, I figured I would go ahead and do this, and I will try to get this video done and uploaded this evening. Um, and then, you know, um, I took a break mainly because, you know, my husband being off and just wanting to be able to spend some time with him, but uh, also, um, I think I said something about it in my last video that I actually posted. Um, I had ended up with a massive kidney infection, and the last time I got one that bad, I actually ended up in the hospital for a week and nearly died from sepsis, so I had to force myself to just kind of take a break and not... Um, push myself and make sure that I was trying to take care of myself because I'm really bad about following directions of the doctors. I know, bad, bad thing, but that is me. And so as you can see, I'm just like, I'm not really even thinking about it because we know that if I start thinking about it, I will overthink the entire situation and then we are in trouble. Because I just, I'm real good at overthinking. And you guys know that I can see a squirrel real quick and run down a rabbit hole. So that's what we're trying to avoid right now is just to just stay on track which for me that can be harder or easier said than done because you guys know how I am 
So I'm just tearing stuff up, and that by itself is fun, guys. Let me tell you. And I, I did not realize how many scraps and stuff I have until I started trying to go through the stuff. And ugh, I don't know how. Well, yes, I do, because I think, you know, when I get done with something, I'm like, it could be a small piece of scrap, and I'll be like, oh, I can throw that away, because I'm sure I can use that in something. And so, I normally end up with tons of scraps, and then I always either forget or just don't use it for whatever reason. And so, my scrap pile has just continued to grow. And I'm not done much with it. So I am trying to work on that because I really need to use some of this stuff. And I don't know how I'll do, but I'm going to try, I'm going to do it one month at a time. I'm going to try like a no spend January. I'm going to see how I do. That means I have to stay out of Tuesday morning and out of Hobby Lobby because I can't do a no spend if I go in there. It's just not going to happen. But I can tell you, I honestly don't need a single thing. So, my intention is to behave. But y'all know how I am. We'll see how far it goes. But uh, how many of you guys have made, you know, and it's not, I'm not saying I've made any kind of resolution or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just basically saying, hey, you know, see if you can do it. You know, if I can't, you know, I'm, I'm not going to feel bad at myself or be upset with myself if I can't do it. Um, because I'm not going to put those kind of, um, I don't know, I have enough to stress about, but I am not adding another stressor into my life. So, um, that's why I'm not saying it's a resolution by any means. I'm just saying, you know what, see if you can do it. So, that's what I am doing. I am just going to see if I can do a no spend. And I know that I can, it's just do I have the willpower to follow through with it? And I do if I stay out of the stores. <laughs> so that's the other challenge. And I have to stay off of the online shopping apps, you know, Amazon and that kind of stuff. So we'll see how long it works or how long it lasts. But we are going to try it, at the very least. So, you guys can ask me. Let me find, you know, ask me to, and hold me accountable. And see if I've done, been able to do the no spend. I don't, this thing is too big to be all the way in screen. And I apologize for that, but I'm trying as you can see now, it's just like little bits and pieces that I need to add. Which I can add bigger pieces, but I'm just going to add some pieces here and there. And not stress over it. Because like I said, we will do, um, when we put some embellishments on this master board, you know, we'll be covering a lot of this stuff up which is perfectly fine. And that's the fun part of it. Like, I mean, you can see that I really have not, and it's better for me if I don't think about it. It is much better for me if I'll just throw some stuff down and be done with it. And if I do that, I can normally get my collage, my master boards done pretty easily. But just as sure as I start thinking about it, mm, 
it gets a little rough. Okay, so see there, just like that, it's all covered. So I am going to set this back into here for right this minute. Okay, and I am going to, I guess I'll have a little piece of that tissue paper already out. I do. Um, and I want to do a different focal point on here, but I think I want to put some of this down. So I am just going to take my collage podge and I am just going to put some down, which is fine because you know it acts as a glue as well. So it is not hurting if I get it on places that I'm not putting this tissue. And then I am just going to put that tissue right down on top of it because I like the way that looks. And you can do this with a napkin as well. Um, I don't have any napkins in here, so I'm just using what I have right here in my bucket. And so that's why I'm just using this up. See, it's looking cute already. And you see, I haven't really done anything fancy at all to it. So, and you don't have to. That's the good part of it. And you can just throw this stuff down with a little bit of glue. You can use glue stick. I have used glue stick a lot of times. how cute already just that cute all right now let me see I have some more of that stuff let me see if I have another one of the big images I know I do but I also have some of my um, labels and stuff which might be cute let me see I'm gonna put this up for just a second and this is, I will put some of my filled note like filled notes labels on there. And what else? Those would be cute. Let's put it's just and I'm rather than cut any of these out, I'm just going to tear around that flower. And I'm going to make that flower part of my focal point. I don't know if you guys can hear the fireworks. We done our fireworks a little bit earlier. It wasn't midnight, obviously, because it's not midnight yet. But we just went ahead and done them because, um, you know, people working and you know, my kids working and that kind of stuff, so we didn't want anybody trying to stay up late for the fireworks. And so we done um, at my mom's house. Um, all of my kids, except for my second daughter, was there. And, uh, well, no, 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 I'm lying. My girls in Okeechobee weren't there, but... We done um, walking tacos, which I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's you take a bag of Doritos and you put your um, taco meat in the bag and you put some cheese and lettuce and tomato and sour cream, and then you just eat it out of the bag of Doritos. And so that's why it's called the walking tacos. And my kids love those and they're quick and easy you really don't have much of a mess to clean up because everything is in the bag with the Doritos so yes I love it so we done the walking tacos and then we um, went out and done some fireworks okay so I've got that down 
I think I do want to put a label or two. Mm, let's see. I'm going to go with one of these. So I'm just going to cut this out. And I should have already cut these out, but you know me. Oh, and Miss Wendy, I'm about to send your box. Um, do you want some of the scraps that I have? You know, and when I say scraps, it may, you know, some of the pieces are real small. Um, I don't want to send them if it's not something that you would use. So just let me know in the comments before I send it out. And I want another label. Just looking to see what I have. You know, I have a plenty. Which I never can make up my mind what I want. I think I want that green one. Because I like that color. So again, you know, um, I don't know if I will actually, I need to use this. I, I don't need to hold on to it. I really don't. I need to actually use it and make either tags or journal cards or faux postcards or something with it. So I'm going to attempt to make myself use it. We'll see how it goes. And then let's see if I have a butterfly that I might want to put. Just looking through some of my ephemera here. That might be cute there. Um, what is that? It's a bird. That would be pretty. There's another flower and a 90 cent. Okay, we'll see what we have. All right, so for these pieces here, I am actually going to use my art glitter to put them on because number one, they're a, a thicker, you know, they're like a cardstock, and I just want to make sure that it's got good coverage. And so I'm going to just put that right there. And it doesn't matter if you have stuff beside the other, you know, if you think it, because most likely when you cut it, they're not going to be beside each other anymore. So don't stress over that. Um, and what I like to do, it, when and if I do actually use my, um, master boards I like to turn them upside down and cut them so that I don't see how I'm cutting it so that way um, it's truly like a um, I guess you could call it like a surprise um, but that way when it's done I, I still you know obviously I didn't think to do it so I guess, oh, I'm sorry guys, I am bumping y'all. So I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna go around and just trim up those pieces that are hanging off. And I don't mind, you know, when I'm putting it on, I don't mind them hanging off because I know that I will go back and trim it up and it will look just fine. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just making sure to get it squared, basically. Okay, I got a little piece right there I didn't get. Let me get this off, throw this in the garbage. All right, so there we go, guys. There is our master board that we created tonight. Um, so there's this one. I didn't put any um, fabric on this one because I don't think it needs it, um, but I definitely could if I wanted to. 
um, like I did this one here. But this one didn't have as, wasn't quite as busy as the one that we created tonight. So that's why I felt like um, the, the first one needed it. But anyway, guys, I hope you um, enjoyed that. Um, I will try to have a video up for you guys tomorrow. I'm not making any promises because I don't know how the schedules are going to be tomorrow with, um, you know, my husband's work and then church and that kind of stuff. Um, but I will be back to filming my videos um, at the very latest Tuesday. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful new year. And um, one thing that we are going to cover like next week is I'm going to look back over 2022. We're going to do kind of a little bit of a review, whether it be um, review some of the items that we made in 2022 or some of the things that, you know, might have happened in my business or my YouTube. Um, but we're going to look at some of that stuff um, starting next week. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much. I appreciate you all and stay safe and I'll see you next year. Bye guys.